Cancer is a growing health burden in Vietnam. Each year, thousands of new cases are diagnosed, and far too many people die of the disease. But the health service is hampered by overcrowding, a lack of facilities, equipment, and specialized doctors. Hanoi's National Cancer Hospital is the only cancer diagnosis and treatment center in North Vietnam. It handles more than a thousand patients a day, but meets only a fraction of the region's needs. The number are increasing now, we can say, uh, partly because of the way of, li of living. I mean, the dietary, the uh, environment, this is very polluted. And also because now, thanks to very new techniques in uh, the uh, cancer diagnosis, we can diagnose more and more cancer. Low awareness, especially in rural areas, means that most patients seek help only when their cancer is far advanced. Breast cancer is the most common form in women. Doctors usually have no choice but to perform radical surgery. Sua and Tue both had mastectomies followed by chemotherapy. Now they're undergoing radiotherapy to kill off any remaining cancer cells. Radiotherapy is an effective tool for the treatment of breast cancer. The International Atomic Energy Agency is helping Vietnam to expand its radiation medicine capacity. Because I'm poor, I neglected my health. After a week of radiotherapy, doctor says my condition is now stable and I begin to feel better. There are many women like Tsua and Tue in Vietnam. With no health insurance, they take loans to help pay towards their treatment. Now, far from home, they must sleep in the corridor during the five weeks of radiotherapy. But the women draw strength and support from each other, and they feel optimistic about the future.